My name is Catherine Ann Torres, although most of my friends and family call me Cat, with a few that still call me Kathy. I was born on August 26, 1985, exactly two months premature, weighing just three pounds and measuring only 12 inches in length. Some would say I was born with a lot of determination, something I believe will make me an excellent teacher. I am the youngest of four children that was raised in a lower income household with a less than stellar home life, although I've never let any of that deter me from my interests and goals. My mother worked very hard to take care and provide for the four of us and to ensure that we moved into a better school district so that we could have the chance at a better education. I cannot lie and say there weren't times we didn't struggle. I have known what it was like to go to school with worries no child should have to entertain. I have known what it was like to be hungry. And I have known what it was like to not always have someone there to help me with my homework because they were busy working to provide for us. I feel it is those experiences that will allow for me to relate to students and understand what it is they are going through. In elementary, I exhibited a passion for learning, as I would commonly take apart my toys and put them back together. I also exhibited an interest in the arts, such as drawing, singing, and dancing. In middle school, I played volleyball and was in choir, although those years were definitely the rebellious ones for me. I surrounded myself with peers who came from similar home lives, and together we started to act out. I was no stranger to the school's disciplinary measures, as I got detention, in-school suspension, suspension, and even a week-long trip to the Student Reassignment Center. Again, I feel like these experiences are important because they will allow me to understand that students are going to come to school and act out, but it doesn't mean they do not want to be there. I myself continue to excel academically, although my behavior was lackluster. During high school, I completely turned my attitude around and immersed myself in the school's culture. I was on the dance team, a varsity cheerleader, a member of the peer assistance leadership group, the soccer and wrestling manager, French Honor Society, and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. I also had a part-time job for a while too. I liked keeping myself busy because I knew that that was the key to keeping me out of trouble and because it meant I never had to be home. Although my high school career was a successful one, I had never given a thought about going to college. I was never told that I could or should and either of my parents attended college. In fact, I was going to be the only one of my siblings to even graduate high school. This all changed when I started to visit with my counselor, Olympia Torres, who took a special interest in my life. I credit her guidance with being my reason for wanting to be an educator and moreover, for setting a goal for myself of being a high school counselor. It was her who pushed me to apply for UTSA. It was her that told me it was possible for someone like me to even attend college. Until then, I believed that I would simply have a job and work hard the way that my mother had and the way that her parents had before her. I will never forget the day that I received my acceptance letter for UTSA. I thank my lucky stars for the work ethic my mother instilled in me and for the secondary mothers I had growing up who helped rear me when my own mother was busy. After high school, I was off to college and the real world, so to speak. I joined the cheerleading team here at UTSA, trying to replicate the busyness of high school so that I would stay out of trouble. Unfortunately, and fortunately, that wasn't the case. I began to have all of the college experiences that one could think of. As a result, my grades in school life began to suffer, and after three semesters, I left college. I was in a serious relationship, my first ever, and I began to work a series of jobs. I was on the management team at GameStop, which makes sense because to this day, I love playing video games. After working there for two years, I began to work as a sales consultant at Sprint. It was something I was familiar with as my own father was in sales when he did have a job. After working there for three years, I began to work as a telephone banker for Chase which again was something I was familiar with as my own mother has worked in a call center for all of her working life. During my three years working as an escalation specialist at Chase, I began to have health issues and left the company. It was during that time that my greatest role began. My niece who had been in and out of foster care since she was born was placed in my home and later that year was adopted by us. I was suddenly a mother. My life needed to have a greater meaning. I needed to show her that I could return to school and finish what I started. I needed to be a positive role model for her. So as winding as the road had been, as crazy as my journey had been up until that point, I returned to school after eight years. I changed my major to art with a teaching certification, an homage to my younger self and to my daughter who is very artistic. I am more determined than ever to reach my goals and to be impactful in the lives of students the way that many people have been impactful in mine. I want to let my life experiences serve as a tool for the type of educator I want to be, the kind that is understanding, hardworking, and determined to give all of our students an equal, fair, and just learning environment. I want to be the ear for my students to vent to, the shoulder for them to lean on, 
and the reason they believe in themselves the way that several educators, friends, and family have been for me. In closing, I asked some of my closest family and friends if they thought I would be a good teacher, and if so, to tell me why. The following responses are what I leave you with. I think you will be a good teacher because you're very smart and very patient. I think Kat would make a great teacher because I think she's very caring about whatever she puts her heart into. I also think she is very passionate about whatever she sets her mind to. She's definitely somebody that I look up to and I'm very proud to call her one of my best friends. I think Kathy Torres would make a great teacher because of her patience and attention to detail. She would basically hook those kids up and set them up for success and show them how to do it the right way the first time rather than having to correct over time. I think you'll be a great teacher because you're patient and creative. I think you will make all the students interested and excited to learn. I think Kat would make a great teacher because she's a very passionate person and she gives no less than 100% in anything that she does and it can be really contagious which is awesome and I think the students would uh, be drawn into that and want to do the same. Why do you think I'll be a good teacher? I think you'll be a good teacher because you're very hardworking and patient and I love you and I'm sure that your students will love you too. <laughs>